Welcome to my 2.6 uh, version of my Crit Blade Flurry build. So let's take a look at my passive skill tree. First, I uh, started by getting the physical attack damage. I went for armor evasion and life, most of the arena, bravery, artific gladiator, defiance. Also have golem's blood, and I went down to take retaliation and torture. I also have cloak and chain, and I have uh, vitality void. Went up to range, went up to range area, took fitness. This one I can't pronounce. I'm sorry, but increases my block chance, which is really nice. And some damage. I have weapon art sorcery. I think I pronounced that wrong. And I have aspect of the links. I have herbalism, and I have this really really nice uh, updated version of the sword wheel on the range area, which are a brutal blade and fatal blade. And these notes are phenomenally good right now. Moving on, I went for uh, to the Marauder area. I went up here, I took a Euro socket here. Increased my block chance, attack speed, melee damage. This is what you're gonna look for for your Euros. As much melee damage and attack speed as you can get, and hopefully some uh, block chance as well, if you can afford it. I have this giant uh, life wheel here, which are really nice. I have uh, Warrior's Blood. I have this nice life, uh, life notes here. I have uh, Heart of the Warrior, Born to Fight, I have Solidarity, I have Unreading Stance, so I'm not getting stunned, and I have Jaggernaut. And I also have Barbarism, and the new and updated version of uh, Strong Aim, which are really nice. And I have this Memory. So let's take a look at my uh, Ascendancy skill tree. I took Painforge, then I took Violent Combatant, Versatile Combatant, then I took uh, Grotius Violence, so I think I pronounced that wrong. And I, uh, I took uh, Blood in the Eye, so I have 50% chance to curse bleeding, and bleeding enemies will take 60% uh, increased damage, which are really nice. You can take uh, Violent Retaliation instead of uh, Blood in the Eye, if you so choose. It's a good choice as well. I don't liking, I don't using uh, Outmatch and Outlast because it's too uh, unreliable when it comes to like fighting bosses which have a lot of life. But Outmatch and Outlast are still a good uh, note to take as well. If you don't want to go for a bleed, you can go for outmatched and uh, versatile com uh, violent retaliation. And I have a link to my skill tree in the description. For the weapons, you're gonna aim for a sword with as high attack speed, physical damage, and crit chance as you can afford and get. For a helmet, I'm using abyssus for an absurd amount of damage, but it makes you vulnerable to physical damage. So keep that in mind. If you're fighting enemies without doing high physical damage, be careful. For a shield, I'm using this uh, uh, low-level shield here, you can see it on screen right now. And I'm mainly using it be, uh, for the hits can't be evaded, and it have pretty decent block chance as well. But you can use other shields if you want. If you want even more survivability, you can go for a more powerful shield, but then you have a chance to miss and you need some accuracy in the skill tree. I'm use, just using uh, this uh, both offensive and defensive amulet here. I went for an uh, amulet with a crit chance, crit multiplier, life, a little bit of resistance, and I craft some flat physical damage on it. And that's what you're gonna aim for if you can. But uh, in defensive mods are always more important on your uh, your amulet, and even your rings. And for rings, again, defensive, and if you can, try to get some physical damage on them, or, or some attack speed. Same thing with other uh, ring. For uh, my gloves, I'm using Malagor's Virtue which are really good gloves, but they have a drawback, they don't, doesn't give you any mana, so if you want to be even more tanky, just drop these gloves and use a pair of rare gloves, which give you life and armor. I'm using this highly defensive belt here, which also gives me some damage. Using these really good boots here, which have good, li uh, good life, good resistance, good armor, and good movement speed. And finally, the most expensive thing I have in my build are this armor here which uh, cost me about two exalts, but you don't have to have as powerful armor as this one. This one is a really good armor. Try to get a six linked or a five linked armor, which you can afford and you can get to a reasonably price. But again, try to get as much armor and life and the resistance you need as you can get on that. For flask, I just using some uh, flask like this. Always have a surgeon flask so you can remove bleeding because you take increased damage from bleeding thanks to Abyssus so you always need to have a bleeding anti-bleeding flask with you. And then I just have a highly, uh, 
high, a high recovery speed the flask and then I have a runic concoction which increases my block chance so if I pop in this one I pretty much have a maxed out block which makes me incredibly tanky I'm using lion's raw you don't have to use this one but I like it and give you some damage knock back some enemy it's, fun, it's a fun flask and then using at serious promise very cheap to get you can pretty much get it when you crush at zero or something like that so it's an easy flask to get and really good it give you a ton of damage so let's take a quick look at my uh, my uh, skill games. I'm gonna start with Blade Flurry. Blade Flurry are supported by melee physical damage, weapon elemental damage, added fire damage, physical to lightning, and increased critical strikes. For the auras I'm using, I'm using Hatred and I'm using uh, Hell of Ash. For my movement skills, I'm using uh, Whirling Blades and Leap Slam, and they are both supported by faster attacks and fortify. I have a block skill setup which are Reckoning and Repost and they are both supported by melee physical damage and they do a ton of damage, will one shot pretty much anything. For my, uh, I also have three custom damage taken setup and the, one, and the first one are a level 4 custom damage taken and it is supporting Immortal Call and uh, it is supported by increased duration. But keep one very important thing when it comes to custom damage taken. The custom damage taken uh, Yule's uh, level must exceed the spell you want to cast. So if you're leveling up your spells, like Immortal Call here, if I level up one more time, it will have more level than the custom damage taken. Then it will stop working. Uh, the level of your spell you want to cast when custom damage taken must be lower than the custom damage taken again. With that said, let's continue. I have another custom damage taken, level 1, and it is supporting a level 4, Arctic Breath, and a level 5, um, Assassin's Mark, and I don't level it up anymore. And finally, I have another custom damage taken, and it is supporting a level 2 Tempest Shield. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask me in the comments. And finally, for the masters, I helped and killed. In normal, I helped the uh, Oak to get life. In uh, Cruel, I helped Crating to get the attack speed. And in Merciless, I just killed all of them and took the passive skill point. Thank you all for watching, and now we're going to again show this character in action. Tell me in the comment what you think about them, that, and tell me also in the comment if I forget something. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.